Hello and welcome back to our next episode of Tuesdays with Tim Camp. The Eastern Iron football team is coming off of a road loss to Division I Portland State uh, over there in Hillsboro, and we are joined as usual by head coach Tim Camp this week. And coach, let's just start with you know the atmosphere that the Mountie fans brought. There was such a huge amount of support from the Mountie faithful at this game. I always like to see all the EOU fans you know travel all the way to Portland for this game. It, it was awesome. You know, we had, we had more fans than they did, you know, and when we come out, I mean, the, the, the crowd erupted, you know, uh, when we were going out to warm ups and, um, I reminded the guys, you know, in the locker room before the game that we, uh, we had a lot of people come and travel to Portland to come and watch us play. And, uh, to, to, to see a lot of these, the former alumni there too on the sidelines, uh, that was, that was a huge deal. You know, it, it's important, uh, for a football program that we travel well. And, you know, we, we started that a long time ago. So we have, we have so much support and I can't, I can't thank them enough for that. Yeah, well, well t- talking about the game, you know, uh, score aside, you're playing obviously talented team like Portland State, but d- does it help make the team better, Eastern Oregon, to to go up against that sort of talent? Yeah, I, I don't think there's a doubt. You know, I, I think that's the one thing that I was so proud of our kids. They didn't they didn't back down. They played hard for four quarters. They didn't uh, they didn't quit. And uh, again, I told them not to look at the scoreboard to just go out and play and have fun. We had nothing to lose, you know. And to, to be able to watch guys go out and make plays, you know, uh, they they had a very very special. They have a very special quarterback who, you know, we flushed out of the pocket nine times. You know, we just couldn't we couldn't get him. Uh, but they they made plays, and you know, but for to see our kids bounce back and go out and 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 compete and um you know from special forces to offense and defense there was plays that were made out there on that field that will make you better you know and that that's that that was the big message coming back out of that game is hey you know what you 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 just did this versus a division one opponent you know and those things we need to continue to work on to get better at you know and i think that the big thing coming out of there was hey you know what uh you you can compete in uh, at at that level and now we just got to be able to build on this and 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 take this into montana and a Western and you know and so I think that there was progress made although you know the score didn't indicate it and, and I know that but but at the same time it was a it was a great opportunity for our kids to see where we're at and see what we need to build on and that's the focus moving into Montana Western yeah so you mentioned Montana Western heading back into the full slate of Frontier Conference action the rest of the year You've got Montana Western, who's ranked number 19. Um, it is just one game, but how big would you say this one is as you guys head into a bye week and then you've got four of your last six games at home? So this is a big road game coming up. Right. I, in, the, in the Frontier Conference, they're all big. You know, I, I think I, I've said that before. But uh, this one here, to be able to see the progress that we make out of out of the Portland State game into the Montana Western game is, is going to be a huge one for us. You know, I, and it, it started it started on Sunday night to, to be able to find out what they do and then to get into Monday and then to have a physical practice today on Tuesday and then, you know, Wednesday and then travel up there the right way and do things uh, is going to be uh, really, really important. But as far as uh, this being a huge game. I mean, again, we we have nothing to lose right now. You know, we're we're in a situation where we're we're not out of it by any means. But at the same time, you got to be able to go out there and you have to be effectively on offense. You got to be able to stop their run game on defense. Uh, but at the same time, they can throw the ball. They got a very good quarterback, and I think that uh, you know those are going to be the key things in this game. We got to get our offense going, and you know we've been we've been working on a few things uh, that that will be new, but uh, at the same time will be the same look as uh, Eastern Oregon you know the consistency is what I'm looking for offensively uh, defensively is is to be able to tackle in space and get pressure on the quarterback and 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 make sure that we cover they got a couple uh, good receivers that I that I really really like and uh, that that obviously they like too but at the same time you know continue to make progress uh, special forces you know we punted the ball well last week and the week before and you know we had a couple big returns and so we we got to we got to continue to develop and those type of things for us to be able to say, hey, we're going to go up to Montana Western and we're going to beat the Bulldogs up there in Dillon, you know. So uh, that that's the intention, but you've got to do the work beforehand and you got to continue to get better uh, if, if those things are going to happen. Yeah, well, the Bulldogs are coming off a big win. They just beat reigning Frontier Conference champions Rocky Mountain by a dominant 38-7 to score, and they're now 3-0. and So uh, you mentioned, you know, they have a couple really good wide receivers. What, what else do they do that's really – 
really good and that you you know looking at that game film against right. rocky mountain yeah. that you might you know be looking at they they're very opportunistic you know they they returned two fumbles for touchdowns that blew the game wide open in the third quarter you know and uh they have they have two really good linebackers they have an all-american coming back and then they got another guy who uh actually i think is very very good so um we we gotta we gotta do our job in taking care of the football and we gotta we gotta run our offense i mean there's there's gonna be uh plays to be made out there we just gotta step up and be consistent and make those plays so so again i think their linebackers are the strength of it uh, but at the same time you know uh montana western has always uh been a very good defensive football team and we got we got to do a good job of getting our ground game going and then being able to take the passing game as it comes to us and, and just at, at the end of the day we just got to be able to execute you know if we're, if we're able to execute we'll have offense on the field versus anybody it's just a, this is this year has been just a little bit slower and you know so we're working very very hard to try and create things that uh that that, that we're able to see and we're able to complete and we're able to get uh get downhill on some people so i'm excited for the game this is going to be the we always match up well with uh, Montana Western. It's always a good game. It doesn't matter if it's in Dillon or if it's here in Legrand. And so we're, we're excited to get back on the bus, you know, the second road trip in a row. And our team's traveling well. You know, I think that, you know, uh, the amount of compliments that I get on the road from the, the hotel staff, the dining staff, you know, the people at uh, the, the people in Hillsboro, you know, so those are all very, very positive things. But at the end of the day, we got to go and play good football. So that, that's, the, that's the focus point this week. Well, Coach, yeah, it's a big matchup. September 28th this Saturday, 1 p.m. Mountain Time in Dillon, Montana at number 19, Montana Western. And, you know, if, if you're not able to make that long trip, fans, you know, I'm sure they would love your support on social media and, and watching the live stream for sure. Absolutely, yeah. If you can't make it to Dillon, although we'll have a we'll have a bunch of fans up there. I uh, again, we travel very well. I can't thank uh, thank the people enough for the support. The Mountie Road Show does an unbelievable job. You know, they, they they feed the boys after every game. I mean, it's 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 been something that we built here for a long time, and uh, the kids and the coaches, uh, we can't thank them enough. So it uh, it should be a, maybe a little bit of a snowy game. But uh, at the same time, the snow's in the forecast. We'll be ready to go, and uh, hopefully we can get out of there with a win. Great. Well, Coach, thank you so much again for joining us, and, and good luck this weekend. Absolutely. Mount up.